Hi everyone, it's Aileen. And today I will test these washable and therefore reusable pads that I bought some weeks ago in an organic store. I will show you now which store. And I got my period two days ago, but I was with my dad and I left those here. So that's why I'm only testing them at this point in my menstruational cycle. But I mean, it will still work. And let's look at it together. So it says that they are biological cotton and washable, of course. It's for heavy floods, so not really for these days, but for in the beginning. And it's 20.5 by 22 centimeters long. And on the back we have the wash instructions and so on. It's made in Europe. Uh, yeah, the cotton is 100% biological. And yeah, made in Europe, so on. Well, we will check the wash instructions later. But look, let's unbox it. I already opened it, but let's pretend I didn't. And it's two pads and they look like this. Very nice with my sweater of now. So this is the part that absorbs and the other side has this. So it's like the pads with wings opened and then you close it like this on your underpants and there are two so when you wash one you use the other and so on and now I will check the washing instructions because that's also useful of course to know <clears throat> so you have to let it stay for some time in cold water and then wash it in the washing machine at maximum 60 degrees Celsius. You can use bleach or things with uh, the thing that is in the pool, chlor. You can't iron it and if you dry it with a drying thing you need to put it on the program for delicate things. Well, that's interesting. And I will take some underpants to show how you put it on, even though I think everyone knows it. So, this is just a very simple black underpant. So, obviously you will have it on your leg, so it will look a bit different. But you put it in just like a normal pad, like this, and then you click it at the back so that it protects so now we have it clicked here and in on the inside we have our pad and now I will reproduce this in my actual underpants and then I will give you updates on how it feels uh, and also on the washing and so on so see you later I'm very curious to try this Something I forgot to mention is that inside the pad you have this little label where all the information is said again on which degrees to wash it and so on and that it's 100% biological cotton and it feels very dense in the middle just like a normal pad and the reason I'm trying these out is to be more sustainable in my day-to-day -day life because you know I get my period every month and then I usually wa use these which aren't good for our planet at all because single-use plastic it goes away on landfills and I don't also think it's not that good for my body because all the microplastics from the pads get into my intimate area and also in the intimate areas of many persons around the world so if these work well uh, then I will recommend them to you so you can also switch to these or other more sustainable menstruational products 
Hi everyone, it's a bit later now and I just wanted to say that uh, I just came back from the toilet after I put it in. It was the first time I went after I put it in. Well, not in on my underpants. I mean, you get what I mean. But I just wanted to say it's really comfortable because it's not like this plastic thing that when it starts getting off a bit sticks to your leg and so on and it's so it can be a bit nasty sometimes but this is just soft and although in the beginning it's a bit stiffer because it's not that light material in the long term it feels way nicer and it also keeps way better than those the wings of the normal pads because it's just really click together and it can't it's not sticked so it cannot get off it's clicked so it cannot get off this was a really confusing explanation but i hope you understood and as it's the third day of my period i'm not bleeding that much so i can't say a lot about the absorbing capacities but i mean i will spend the night with it and then i will see but for now i mean it works really great it stays well it feels nice so yay the only thing is what i'm thinking of can be a negative thing already is the color and the print it looks cute but it will be more difficult to see any abnormalities in your period so maybe that's something you don't really check but it's important to keep track of what your normal blood looks like and yeah, like that you can see quickly if you have any infections or something. So always remember if you wipe to check because here you can't really see it. So that's just some advice. And if you have any symptoms of any infection or something, just immediately go to the pharmacy. Hi everyone, it's the day after, the day after I first tried the washable reusable pads. Well, they survived me through the night but now i will have to put them in the cold water because otherwise it's been a very long time that i've been wearing them so i will do that and then i will let you know how the washing and so on goes but i think i will have to retry them when i'm on the first day and second day on my period because now i was not bleeding much at all but something i wanted to say is that since it's cotton instead of these plasticky layers and so on, my skin feels way less hot, you know. Sometimes, after some time you're wearing the normal pads, it just feels so warm and sweaty there. But since this is a natural material, my skin is breathing, so it feels way more comfortable. And also just knowing that you can reuse it and so on instead of every time buying new packages. It's really nice to think about that. And it's also more affordable. So it feels like a win, 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 win. It's the next day. And yesterday after I filmed a little piece for you, I put them in, uh, I soaked them in cold water. And I, I let them for a couple of hours. And the blood went off really well and... So there's almost no blood on it left. And then I put on the second pad of the package. And since I've had it all night now, I will put that to soak also. And then I will wash them later today in the washing machine. And now I will just put on these because I bleed very, very little. So I will continue to use those probably because if you bleed very little, it's a bit unnecessary to wear these very big pads. But at least I will be much more ecological with only a couple of these but for the rest my reusable pads so yeah the blood went off really well and later on i will show you how the result is after i wash them it's the next day and yesterday i put the pads in the washing machine after i soaked them for a long time in cold water and this is how they look after they've dried. So I will do one by one. As you can see, there is no trace of blood whatsoever. And 
it just looks as new except the other one it has uh, bleached a bit in the middle but that's quite a normal thing because as you may know the acidity of the vag vaginal fluids can cause uh, can cause colors to bleach sometimes but I'm still very surprised that there is actually no trace of blood left and some advice for you is uh, if you put the pet in water in a kind of container other than your sink which I suppose you do because otherwise you can brush your teeth or anything then you can reuse the water by giving it to plants because there are also a lot of nutrients in your blood so you're giving those back to the earth like iron and so on so that's a nice way to recycle this water and I will see you in a month where I will update you on, on how it absorbs the blood in the first days of the period. And here we are again. After 31 days, I got my period again. Yesterday night, but it was very, very little. I put in one of the two cotton pads and I held it in until I think 9, 10 this morning because during the night I didn't bleed that much. But then during the day when I stand up, pew, it's a fountain. And then I didn't feel very well. I vomited and so on. So I went to bed again with the same pad. And then when I woke up, I changed myself. I put the old pad in the water to rinse it. And then I put the other one in, which I still have in because now I'm bleeding uh, still much but not as much as this morning so it's keeping very well the only thing is that now if this one is full the previous one isn't yet dry and clean so or you need more or you just wear those in the first days of your period and in the other days you wear normal pads and those tiny ones so i must think about that i'll think i'll buy another package of two and that will be good for the first days and then as in my last cycle use these really tiny i don't remember what they're called but when you just have a few drops of blood so then my final review well they absorb very well i think better than normal pads they are definitely more comfortable because you don't feel this plastic and it's not that sweaty. And of course it's also more ecological so that gives you a nice feeling. And they are more affordable because you buy two or four of those or more, I don't know how much you bleed. And you can reuse them for several years, I think, instead of always buying new single-use ones. So I think this is a really great option if you are comfortable with uh, washing your own blood off and so on. But I mean, I suppose you are. So I definitely recommend it. Thank you for watching and let me know what kind of period products you use and if this video changed something in your view about those and yeah thanks for watching and see you next time bye